Okay, first up we have Jonathan. What we've got here is failure to communicate. What we've got here is failure to communicate. What we've uh, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. One thing it's important to you know hit six and turn on the texture mode so we can see the pupils and see where his eyeballs are pointed. Um, I think uh, you know when he's talking quickly, uh, there's there's a couple moments where you open the mouth probably further than it needs to go. Especially that there was one in the middle right there that goes way too fast. So look for those things and and if and if the timing's right, just move it less. Like have have uh only a portion of the movement of the range of the blend shape just just a little bit, not the full range. Um I think it's good that you've got the head and eyebrows moving the whole time. I think I might kind of uh reduce the amount of eyebrow movement. It seems to uh be kind of a little bit just just too much, you know. And also, don't be afraid to move them independently of each other as well. They don't always have to move uh, synchronized with each other. So, um. and then I think if you want to take it to the next level, you can add some movement of the body and arms. Just kind of have the the root moving around a little bit, so it's not you know sort of frozen from the next down. And that would kind of take it to the next level. Uh, and and I don't know what's going on with the audio. It cuts out. Got here is. Failure to communicate. Oh wait, no, explain. What we've got here oh. is failure to communicate. What okay. we've got here is failure to communicate. Yeah, good. Okay, sorry about. It. Yeah, I guess the audio is all the way through. So. Yeah, I think it's really good. I like that even that little snarl at the beginning. So scaling down some of the mouth movements. I think your your lids are kind of moving around, but lids tend to kind of move really quickly or and you know mostly you have stuff like eyes narrowing or blinks but you know I would put in a couple blinks and uh, um, you know could just be a little bit more intentional with your choices with the eyes and eyebrows okay next up is Tess but I am NOT a monster I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy she poisoned but I am NOT a monster I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy she poisoned but I am not a monster. Okay, uh, I'm yeah, it's looking good. Standing in front of a boy she poisoned. I feel like... But I am not a monster. I'm that, but not, but I am not a monster. The lips seem to be moving in time. Although, anytime someone's talking really fast, um, you tend to want to reduce the distance of the movement of the lips, because otherwise it looks kind of flickery if they're moving both a large distance and fast at the same time. Um... But then the, something looks a little off with some of the rest of the line. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy she poisoned. I think you could work on the timing of some of that stuff. A girl standing in front of a boy she poisoned. It maybe make again some of those smaller. Standing in front of a boy she poisoned. Yeah, like the the after the B of boy it moves like really big. Standing in front of a boy she poisoned. And it seems a little late. You know, and think about, you know, one thing to really think about is there's there's a set of sounds that the mouth makes um, and then there's a set of sounds that happen with, like, the tongue and throat. So the, we're really only animating the things that the mouth does, like that the mouth open closes or, like, the M, B, P shapes or the F and V shapes and then, you know, the wide and narrow and open and close. So you know, there's a lot of sounds that don't have any mouth movement associated with them, like that, you know, like R, R, L, G, N, you know, anything that happens sort of inside the mouth, the, the mouth movements get sort of arbitrary, which means you can actually skip those movements, which is really helpful, actually, when there's a lot of words in a short period of time. You can skip any sound that doesn't have a mouth movement that's required to make that mouth shape. My mouth shape that's required to make that sound, I mean to say. Um, yeah, and then I think uh, I think you could do a little bit more with the eyelids. They look a little frozen. I mean, they move at the beginning there, and I, then you have one eye movement, but I think you could do more with the lids. Um, 
could probably do a little bit more with the brows and consider making them asymmetrical. And then, yeah, again, uh, getting some head movement, some body movement, and all that would take that to the next level. So yeah, you've got some of the basics going. I think you can fix some of the timing and movement of the lips and then start embellishing it from there. Okay, next up is Rand. How did you find me here? How did you find me here? It's a pretty you quick one, but I think that it's actually pretty good here? because you did what I've been talking about to extent, which is kind of keeping the lip movement sort of here? small. Uh, because, How again, if he's talking here? fast and you move him too big, it doesn't look good. It looks How sort of flickery. So, um, How did you find me here? yeah, and it really looks like he could be saying that. Um, I like the How blink at the beginning. I think you could have a couple How like eye darts, here? like the eyes looking in, getting eyebrows involved. Oh, I think you had here? some eyebrow problem, but I, I sent you a How file you to fix here? that. Um, and then, yeah, trying to get the rest of the body a little bit involved, here? some like head movements and tilts and, How you know, you arms, here? shoulders, you know, but really moving the root is always the most important here? thing. So, yeah, I think good lip sync, specifically the lips, but I think it's kind of How everything around that is where you could kind of uh, take it up a notch and, and do some more. Next up is Jackie. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack. Not rationality. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack. Not rationality. It's mercy. So I think you've got the timing right. I, uh, I think what I'm noticing is it seems to sort of move the same distance regardless of the sound. And I think you'd want to vary it depending on you know, the sound that she's making. Also, you're just using one slider, and I think combining um, some of the different shapes, uh, like if you have something that makes the mouth narrower and wider uh, for some of that movement, so it's just not, right now it's very much like a, a puppet that only has one control where you can just open and close its mouth and it's sort of talking along like a marionette or something, and it lacks you know, the detail you would have if you use uh, some, a few other shapes as well. I think that the timing of the blinks and the um, eyebrows go well with the um, what she's saying. It seems to be timed well with that. Maybe you could add a little bit more of that. And then, like I've been saying with the others, if you want to, you know, take this up a notch, just getting some head tilts and movements and some body movement, always, you know, starting with the root being the most important thing to move. Next up is Stephanie. Young fella. If you're looking for trouble, I'll accommodate you. Young fella, if you're looking for trouble, I'll accommodate you. Young fella, if you're looking for trouble, I'll accommodate you. Young fella, it's nice. I, you know, there's you're a few, looking for trouble. There's a few nice touches in here. Um, like, if you'll notice, kind of at the end here, there's a little snarl that kind of goes along with what he's saying, and I think that works well. I think, um, you know, your blink control should be on the eye control, so you mentioned you had trouble with that, uh, but if you need help with that, let me know. I can take a look at your my scene file and see if we can get that working, but you should see, you know, when you select the main eye control, you should see uh, um, an option for uh, uh, to do the, the lids, uh, to animate the lids, and uh, same with the brows also should be on that eye control, so that uh, those should move there. Um, yeah, and I think it's good that you got the head moving in, and I think it goes pretty well with the uh, with what he's saying. And you kind of didn't overdo it too much. Um, I might go like a little quicker on the tilt down. People don't tend to move their heads too slowly and evenly in most cases, so maybe a little bit quicker and kind of hit the pose and hold it. And maybe the same with a look left and right. You can go a little faster. Um, and then, yeah, like I said with the others, if you want to take it up to the next level, move the root around a little bit, a little weight shift, maybe, you know, a couple arm poses in there, those kinds of things to, to step it up a notch. But it looks kind of more alive than many of the other ones, partly because of the head movement and the eye movement. Okay, next up is Jasmine. Yes, all men must die. Yes. All men must die. Yes. All men must die. Right, so it's looking good. I think the timing of the mouth movements are good. I like the, those, like, what's, one thing I'm noticing about this, 
that a lot of the other pieces don't have is kind of a variety of different speeds going on because you get that very quick movement of the at the beginning when she says yes a quick little eyebrow flick and a fast movement um, then you have like and a quick tilt up of the head then you have a sort of a medium tilt down of the head and twist there um, and another you know really subtle eyebrow movement so I think you've got just a good variety of stuff going on and the tilt of the head looks sort of thoughtful and goes with a quote um, I think uh, some blinks. You've got the lower lids blinking, and I would tend to mostly leave the lower lids alone for a blink and do it with the upper lids instead, because uh, that's how a real blink works for the most part. And um, yeah, maybe just some eyeball movement would really help bring her to life a little bit more too. And again, like I've said with all the others, you know, having some body poses where you're moving the root uh, would really take this to the next level too. Hey, this is Morgan's. Um, clearly something went terribly wrong with the audio. Um, it's kind of funny. I saw your uh, post saying that, um, you know, something went wrong with your play last and you had to add in After Effects, but now I'm thinking maybe there was some error in After Effects as well. So... Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm wondering if you had more than one clip imported, possibly, because you mentioned only the background sound. Uh, but maybe if you sent me the, the audio clip itself, I could help try to marry them together if you can't get it to work. But um, somehow, it's, as, you, as you could hear, it was playing back really slow and weird for me. Um, but, I mean, just focusing on the animation without really knowing how the lip sync is, I think you've got some good stuff going on. You've got a variety of mouth shapes, you've got some head tilts, uh, a couple of good blinks in there. Um, I think you can get the eyebrows involved and, you know, think about doing the rest of the body. But just, to, you know, to kind of do this one justice, it'd be really great to hear it with the proper audio um, so we understand how the lip sync's working and what he's saying and how the movements go with that. So yeah, I'd love to see this again with the fixed audio. Again, if you can't get it to work, uh, try just sending me the audio and, and, and you know whatever your most current version of the video is, and I'll see if I can get them to work together.